Today, we will be fishing for as many different river species as we can catch in six hours. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be working as a team to catch as many species as we can. The plan is to start with the easier species and work our way all the way up to the more difficult species to catch. We'll need to move fast and change locations as needed. We've got six hours on the clock and a few places to be, so let's get this started. Let's see how many we can get and let's have fun. So we're at our first little spot. We're gonna to try to do this as quick as possible. All right, so the first species that I'm gonna target is gonna be a smallmouth bass. So we're gonna walk over here a little bit, see if we can get on one. If you wanna catch a lot of species, and you don't care about size, and you don't have live worms, trout magnets are awesome. I'm not gonna sit here and say that they work as good as live worms, and I got a giant bobber on, by the way, because it's the only bobber we have left, and the top of it's like broken, it won't even hook. But anyways, I'm gonna try to make do with it. Back to what I was saying, a trout magnet is an awesome bait. It doesn't replace worms, I'm not gonna say it's as good, but it's not too far behind. So I'm gonna get started with that because it's so much fun fishing like this, guys. And these little fish, you wanna catch a whole lot of species, these little fish are the way to go. And they really like to hang out in little areas of grass like this. Lots of bait fish right here. So that shouldn't be any problem. Getting the different species of sunfish, that'll be pretty easy. I think we got our first hit, but it's really hard to tell with this bobber, it's so big. And we have a really light line on. Be ultra careful. This is gonna hold us up if this type of stuff keeps happening. Hey, I might have to get my foot wet. That sucks. Really didn't want to get my foot wet. Is there somebody else's line too? Look, someone made the same mistake as me. All right, let's try not to do that again. We don't have the time to be making mistakes like that. There's a smallmouth bass. I knew there would be one cruising around over here. Let's see if we can get him. We can get a snack. Well, lost our bait. That's not good, especially when you're on a very short time frame. I broke off. That sucks. Oh my goodness. The fishing gods delivered. Found a bobber. Ask and you shall receive. No, I think it's broke. Okay, okay, that might be good enough. Let's see. It's gonna slide with us, but we might be able to make it work. Do you have any little bobbers? I'd have to retie. I really don't feel like retying. All right, don't slide on me, bobber. Oh, got something. Species number one is a green sunfish. These guys are super abundant in a lot of waters, but especially this river. You can tell they have a much bigger mouth than a bluegill. You can actually thumb them. You see the pretty colors? All right, species number one, green sunfish. Thanks, buddy. Let's get him right back in so we can keep fishing. See if we can get something different. This bobber's just a sinking. Ah, oh, had a bite. All right, let's go get our other bobber because this ain't working. This one is broke, but it did help us get one fish. So one species on the board. Come on, Maddie, get us number two. I'm gonna use this fluke. I believe Maddie just got our second species. All right, smallmouth bass. Look how pretty. So species number two. Fat little belly on them too. There she goes. Good job. I got it All on right. this. I love using this for smallmouth. Species number two on the board. Maddie agreed to take on the challenge of catching the, what we assumed was gonna be the harder species to catch. And that was a smallmouth, but you got it on what? Like your second cast? Third cast. Third cast. Still super quick. Now, let me go grab my little pole. I got this type of little bobber on there. Shouldn't take long to get one right here near this grass. Yep, there's my bite. Got a fish. What is it? And he is not a new species. He is another green sunfish. 
Told you guys, they're very abundant. Figured we'd catch a whole lot of them before we catch something else. But any pretty? Let's get him back in. Thanks, baby. We found an abundance of green sunfish. We need something different. There's a bite. It's probably another green sunfish. Little feisty guy. Another green sunfish. All right, we're on. What do we got? We got another green sunfish. Green sunfish. Barely even felt you on my hook. Green sunfish. Ooh, this one's feisty. One bit me right there. There we go. And thought we had a new species, but we don't. We just have another little green sunfish. Thanks, little baby. The green sunfish are definitely out and they are hungry. Raise this just a pinch. See if we can get a different species that might be down lower. There's something. <laughs> oh, different species. This is a red breast. Species number three, a red breast, and it looks like he might be mixed with green sunfish. Let's get him back into the water. Species number three. Let's see if I can catch, I was really hoping for a rock bass too. <laughs> Feisty. All right, we got it. This is a rock bass, or red-eyed bass is what some call them. Species number four. Beautiful little fish. They're one of my favorite panfish. This is what I grew up catching right here. The river that I grew up on, or near, was so abundant with these guys, and I would go down as a kid and just catch them back to back all day long, or all afternoon. What an awesome little catch. Let's go get a release on him. I'm going to make a few more casts just to see if um, I can get like a pure red breast or something else. And if not, we're only going to give ourselves a few more minutes. We're going to head on to the next spot because we have more species to catch and not a lot of time to do it. I know most people don't really get too excited about pan fishing, but if you get like a little ultralight pole like this or any type of ultralight pole, it doesn't have to be this one. It's so much fun fighting them. That little rock bass gave me a good run for my money. And you see how we moved our bobber up higher? We've been targeting the fish at all the water columns because every species is different. Just because some are at the top doesn't mean the other species are gonna be at the top. They might be near the bottom. You can watch the little fish like come up and sniff it. Look, he's got it. Got him. That is fun. Now this is a red breast. Look how pretty, similar to a bluegill. They have longer ears generally. And let me flip him over. See that red belly on him? That's why they're called red breast, because he has red breasts. Is that not a beautiful fish? One of the prettiest in my opinion. Let's let him go. I believe we got all of the species we're gonna get here. So now it's off to spot number two. Let's go get some more. Now we need to go catch a uh, largemouth. Here we are at spot number two. We're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go ahead and get some poles casted out and see what we can catch. I'm ready. Let's do it. So we just come for a bass and then we'll leave. I'm fishing for a bigger bass. Maddie's going after the micro so we can hurry up, get that over with and move on. I can see him on that little flat. Oh. Oh. Ooh. They're being mean to it. They're not eating it. They're swiping it. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Come back. I had a good bite right there. Time's a ticking and we still gotta catch our bass, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it here in just a little bit. Perfect cast. Might have to switch baits. They've been a little more picky than I thought. Oh, nope, there's a bite. Oh, come on. He was running with it and everything. Nope, he's on. Got him, Maddie. 
He's in the bad one, guys. Because the drag on the thing. Come on, stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. We're going to flip you. There we go, guys. There's our next species, the largemouth bass. Our next species is check off the list. Can't have a video without catching one of these. Oh. As soon as it hit the water. Come here. Ha ha! A small, no? What are you? Little baby largemouth. Not a new species, but still a fun little back hatch. What a cutie. You hammered that as soon as it hit the water. Bye. LMB on a trout magnet. That was super quick. We did that in record time, but we still have a lot of species to catch and not a lot of time left. So we're on to the next spot. Didn't take long at all, did it? All right, y'all, we are at our next spot. And of course, the sun decides to come out, so this is probably gonna be the hottest spot. But anyways, we're walking over here now. We're gonna get set up and go after our next target species. We got the bigger rods out now, so this is when it's gonna get interesting. Catch you guys over here. Maddie is going to be putting some liver on a hook, because you already know we gotta get a channel cat. Well, Maddie focuses on getting the catfish pole out, the liver pole. I'm going to try to catch some live bait. Somehow we caught all the sunfish species we were after, but our bluegill friend just managed to not get caught. So we're gonna find him now, we hope. All right, we're gonna get some liver on this hook. We are having uh, up to 15 mile per hour winds today. All right, it looks like it stopped for a second. And we got that out right there. I'm gonna bring this up here and set it in one of these rocks. I wouldn't recommend that with you got like one of the fancy rods. Like I'm not gonna put my mad cats in there by any means, but for this little cheap Shakespeare, it'll be okay. All right, so there's a nice rock right there to hold her in place. Shouldn't go anywhere. All right, so now that's out. So now we wait. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it come off. That was a good something. Took my worm. So for carp, I'm using a much smaller circle hook. Cause we're just gonna put about five pieces of corn on here. All right. So there's our corn hook. We're gonna throw this out right where we chummed the water. So about right there, be good. We wanna get that drag set though, right because them carp will run, they take off. That one's secured, now we wait. This one right here is gonna be for the live bait once Ray catches it, but until she does, we wait. Waiting for that sun to set just a little bit more. So we're hoping the bite is gonna start heating up for other species. This rock sticking out of the water, there's some shadow right there. Figured something would be right there cooling off, trying to shield itself and hide from the sun. God, we got a fighter this time. This might be the one we need. Holy, that is the biggest rock bass I've ever seen. Big old fat rock bass that's been eating really good. All right, haven't had any action on this pole, so we're gonna reel it in, check our bait. Feels pretty light. I think something might have taken it. Yeah, we have a bait thief. All right, gonna get this liver back out. Something stole it from us last time. Um, it's just a dwindling. Haven't caught any more species at this spot yet, but that's gonna change soon. Are we on? Are we on? We're on. <laughs> little pip squeak. Look how little, I wish I had a quarter to compare this guy to, he's so cute. Thanks, baby. Something happening to this pole. White pole is definitely getting hit. Small little pecks at the moment. 
That's a dainty fish. Oh yeah. Ray. Oh, Manny's got a fish horn. Our next species. Come here. Crazy. All right, guys. There we have it. And it's not so small. It's not as small as I thought. I don't even know what number this is for us. Kind of lost count, but here is our next species. Channel cat. A nice one. Yeah, he's not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and get a weight. Why not? She's already on the scale. 3.30 on the scale. Right, Big so girl. Let this baby go. There she goes. She hid up under the rock. Sweet, yeah. She's hiding up underneath this rock right here. Channel catfish marked off. Thanks to Maddie. All right, y'all. So I'm going to sit down and take a little breather while Maddie takes over and uh, tries her luck at catching a bluegill, which is so odd that we've struggled catching that. It honestly wasn't even something we were really thinking about till it kind of hit us. Oh my gosh, we caught all of the sunfish we were after, but we never caught a bluegill. That's something. What are you? Chill, brother. A bluegill! Finally! We've been waiting so long to catch one of these. Usually the easiest things to catch here lately, they have not. New species on the list. All right, let's take this on over to Ray. Finally, the bluegill that has evaded us for so long, Maddie caught it. Somehow you've been like the hardest one to catch. Put him in the bait bucket. Look like we got a hit on the carp pole. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on that and kind of sit near it. Hopefully we get a fish. See what happens. This fish might be on. Maddie! We're on, guys. Oh! He popped off. It's okay. Put some more back out there. I am shaking. We had our carp, but he popped off. I think I could have given it just a second longer. Really make sure he had that hook in his mouth. That's all right. We're just gonna get some more right back out there. He ain't coming back. He got hooked. That's okay. Try again. Maddie keeps seeing these two white suckers. Of course, they just like are eating algae off of rocks and stuff. She's gonna try to net them. She's in hunt mode right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to come back. You just scared the out of it and then coming back today has been a ton of work to say the least but it's been so much fun too if we ended things right now and didn't catch anything else i would definitely say it's been successful just because um it's been so much fun and we have caught in a lot of species so far the only thing we've targeted and haven't landed is a carp i'll be honest with you we've seen a lot of carpet lakes and stuff but as far as the river they've been few and far between i'm not sure why that is maybe they're in different locations and areas we just don't know about but the spots we generally we go and target them we've not seen much so just the fact that we got a bite at all from a carp is pretty incredible we're still hoping for a carp who knows it could happen but there is one more species we have in mind we have one in order from what we determined to be the easier things to catch all the way to the more difficult things to catch you know so this one is last for a reason we're gonna get back at it so stay tuned All right, we've got our bait out. So now we just sit and wait. Maddie! I'ma wait. Should I wait? Oh, it's running with it. Is it on? I don't know. I see that line running out there. 
Yeah. They might be on. Reel into that fish. Go ahead. We on. I think he popped him off. Look at all that slime. Is there something wrong with the reel? I don't know. It wasn't when I was reeling, it was just reeling, but not spooling. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look, come here, I wanna show you, come here, watch. Why isn't it reeling? The reel failed us. Look at all the slime on the line. He ain't gonna bite again. Look at that slime. Yeah, the reel failed on me, dude. Why did you do that to me? Today is a brand new day. We are still sticking to our six hour challenge. We're actually out here at the exact same time that we left off the other day when we were here. After the reel malfunctioned on us, that was the only rod we had ready for a particular species we were after, which is the flathead catfish. So we decided just to pack it up and come back out another day and pick back up then. We actually sent that reel back to the manufacturer. It was deemed defective. They sent us a brand new one. So we're out here trying that out. We're hoping um, that doesn't happen again. We're back out today, see if we can pick up where we left off and catch the remaining species on our list that we were hoping to catch within six hours. We'll see, it's gonna be cutting it close, guys. There's mainly two left that we were really, really hoping to get. So stay tuned, let's see how this goes. You should put some corn on this pole. We're still trying for that carp. We got the live bait out on this pole. This time we brought out the Hellcat. Exact same reel, just a different one, but the exact same thing. Shout out to my stepdad, he made these awesome rod holders. You cat fishermen should know the takedown rod holders, sort of like that, but his version of it. So shout out to him for that. But that's what we're working with. We'll see what happens. Can barely get it out of the holder. I heard that. Here she is, right here. All right, let me uh, get a net. Oh, this uh, happened really quick. We were sitting here talking, thinking we weren't gonna get another chance at a car, and then this baby come along. Please don't come off. Oh no, he's wrapped around the other one. Do I need to reel it in? No. God, they fight so hard. This is a big one. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Got the net ready, guys. I'm shaking. From my angle, I'm gonna have to put this down. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, okay? Yeah. She's probably gonna run again when she gets closer to the bank, but she's big, right? Oh my God, she's huge. Come on. Yes! Oh, what a beast! What a freaking fight! <laughs> we want to take good care of this fish, so we. We're keeping her in the water just like this and trying to keep her calm so that we can handle her safely. This is, uh, we had to get her netted and then we put her right back in the water to get the hook out of her and everything like that because these are really big fish and when you're big and heavy like this, you get to flopping around, you can uh, really injure yourself or us. All right, so, I want to get a picture of uh, this fish and then we're going to send her off for a safe release. You were a Thank lot to you. handle, pretty girl. Put her back in. And I can just tell you right now, videos are not doing her justice. There she goes. She's so big. Thank you so much. Good job, Maddie. That was such a fight, and I feel like you handled it perfectly. Thank you. That Me, on the other hand, the net woman. Struggled a little. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I was like, get the I was trying to follow where she was going so I could net her. But it's really hard, guys. You see the type of bank I'm dealing with? I was standing there where Maddie's at, and I... With this other pole out behind me, I had nowhere to really walk. It, it was just hard, but we got it done and that's what matters and the fish is back in safe. So on to the next species. We had a little bit of rain start sprinkling down on us. We thought we were gonna get rained out. We started Ended seeing up some a, things jump right in front of us too. And I thought, it's kind of big for a small mouth. Let's see if it's a carp. That pole bent over, oh my gosh. It, I could barely even get it out of the rod holder. It was in there so good. I just all of a sudden heard drag squealing and I looked over and Maddie was on it. 
she was so quick on her toes. But carp checked off. That's awesome. I guess we're going to slap some more corn on this just to just see what happens. Fun. It's it's a lot of fun. We might get another carp in them. Other things we eat corn too. Usually it's carp, but we'll see what happens. Since we got back out, we've only been here. About 30 minutes. Yeah, about 30 minutes when Maddie caught that carp. So that's pretty incredible. The other day when we left off, a carp bite was just not it. I'm guessing because it's a very cloudy day, we have a tropical storm moving in. That's when we were hoping to get this video done before all of this but the real malfunctioned and we had to wait on them to send another one. So now we're in the middle of this tropical storm th blowing through. Maybe that actually helped with the carp bite. Maybe the rain is a good time to fish for them. I have to change this hook. He bent this hook out. Did he? Where he was so big. It's supposed to be a circle hook. <laughs> now it's a J hook. Yeah. All right, y'all. I think we got a fish on the horn. Should I give it a minute or do you think he's all... It's on. Sure. I don't know. Looks like it. Pick it up. Is it on? Oh. <laughs> She's definitely on. Do I need to reel this one in or are you good? I think I'm good for now. Great. She's big. Where are you bringing her to? She's right here right now. Oh. Crazy. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine catching one of these on one of the inflatable kayaks with a pedal board. Oh. <laughs> she have you all over the river. This is a big fish, powerful fish. I can't see her. I don't want to pop her off. I'm gonna pull her up. Catfish. Oh, that is a big catfish. Ooh, she fought like a freaking carp. Just did. Wow. Not Ray, a that's a beast. Species, I was not expecting to get a channel catfish on the corn. Not a new species, but beast of a fish. I thought it was a carp. Me too. She fought just like a carp. I would have never guessed it was a channel. Me either. It was Alan. You was hungry, won't you, girl? Yeah, let's get the length on it. 24. 24 inches. Oh, gosh. That's a beast. All right, y'all. So we didn't get another species, not our flathead, but we got this big, beautiful channel. And on corn, who would have guessed? Look at the size of the head. Just a big girl. That might wrap us up for tonight, unless we have a clutch fish. I believe it's gonna wrap up our six hours of multi-species fishing. We didn't get everything we came for, sadly, but we got most of what we came for. And more importantly, we had a great time. We're gonna get this beautiful, beautiful fish. Face only me and a mother could love back into the water. I'm gonna get him right back so that he or she can continue to grow and reproduce and um, hopefully make another angler out there very, very happy. Thank you, baby. Gotta let go. That was fun. It is officially dark out here. Our timer still hasn't went off yet, but it is about to. And unless we get one last bite of clutch fish, I think that's gonna be it, guys. They are getting hit, but um, so far I'm suspecting it's been gar. And one hit we did suspect was a turtle. Look, no, that's a fish. That's a carp. Oh my God. That's a carp. Yeah. I can't. This is a big fish. Oh my god. Oh, uh, you're on this line. Oh, you freed it, I think. This fish is honestly going to be able to do whatever it wants. <laughs> oh. If it wants to go left, it's going left. <laughs> if it wants to go right, it's going right. It is in that line. You want me to reel it in? If you can, if not, don't worry about it. I don't want to. All right, we are all sorts of tangled, y'all. But it's okay. If this is not a catfish. If this is a catfish, that's a world record. Look at the corn go, though. Oh, I saw that. 
That fish was on so quick. As soon as I casted it, I we were having such trouble catching carp, and now it's like, here they are. Where is she? She's coming up. She's scared. She's seen you. Oh, she really seen you. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my God. Please don't pull me into the water. <laughs> oh my God. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, see, do you see? They just dived down. Got her. <sighs> Child, what a catch. What a fight. Oh, look, these even are all walking ready. In the net. Here's your catch. We're gonna um, keep her in the water while we unhook her, y'all, and it's starting to get dark on us. Oop, the bail on and the water. timer just went off, so. This will be our last catch of the night. Oh, she is unhooked. Sweet. That makes life a lot easier. She unhooked herself. Got her so it tells me she was barely hooked. What a powerhouse of a fish. Beast of a fish right here, y'all. All right, I don't wanna cause her any stress. I'm trying to keep her in the water while lifting her up. Oh. Okay, okay. Just Officially the last catch of the night right here. Not a new species, but such a fun catch. And um, a clutch fish. She, uh, We got her in right when the timer went off. That is officially the end of our session. Look at that tail. Like a mermaid tail. But we're gonna get her right back in. You gave me a run for my money, girl. Look at that beauty queen, y'all. One last look. What a beautiful fish. That is officially going to wrap it up. We really hope you enjoyed the content. And if you did, be sure to subscribe, like this video, let us know if you'd like to see us do another multi species challenge, but maybe with more time, see if we can catch even more species. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. As always, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. That was so much fun. We gotta do that again. Good way to end it, you know? <laughs>